Hello everyone, welcome to DC Minds. In this video, we are going to learn about another C11 concept called null pointer. So let's see what exactly this null pointer means. Okay, so suppose you have a function and that takes this parameter which is of type integer and then it will perform some operation. Okay, and we have another function, same function, overloaded function. But now it takes pointer to an integer. Now suppose you want to call this function, this display function by passing a null pointer. Basically this null we usually use to indicate a null pointer. So what will happen in this case when you try to call this function actually, actually you are trying to call this function by passing a null pointer. But what will happen is that in C++, this null is defined, has defined as 0. So what will happen? Instead of this null, the value 0 will be there. And 0 is nothing but integer. So what will happen? Instead of calling this function, it will call this display because 0 will be treated as integer. So our intention was to call this function, display function, which takes pointer to an integer by passing a null pointer but it will get called this function it will call this display function which is taking integer okay so in c plus plus three we don't have a proper null pointer okay so in c plus plus eleven we have proper null pointer which means it is a null pointer Okay, so in this case, what will happen when you say display null pointer? In this case, this function will get called. Okay, so to solve the problem of proper null pointer, we have this null PTR in C11. So in this case, our intention was to call this, this display function by passing a null pointer, but since this null is defined as 0, so this function, this display will get called. So in using C++11 null PTR concept, you can directly call this display function. Okay. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like.